Welcome to What is Middleware? My name is John Brunswick and we're going to look at application server capabilities. What's an application server and what value could a standardized application server provide to organizations? To do this, we're going to look at two fictional communities. We're going to look at the community of middleware fields where Jim manages all of the building, maintenance, and operations. We're also going to look at Codeway Valley where Bob manages all of the building, maintenance, and operations. Now, Jim and Bob are good friends and they go out to a coffee periodically. This last week, Bob said, Jim, I don't get how you guys do it at Middleware Fields. You have such a small team, but you have such a large community. Over at Codeway Valley, we got started really quickly with all of our different buildings. We rapidly grew our community using the resources that we had at the time, and for every structure, we did something a little bit different sometimes just to expedite the process. If the plumbing or the electrical needed to be a certain way, we just got it done. But we're really hitting a wall right now because all of our time and energy is spent maintaining all these different types of structures. How did you guys avoid this at Middleware Fields? Jim said, at the beginning, we thought to ourselves, what would a consistent foundation across all of our buildings look like? What common services could we have for any building that we're creating? So we thought about things like electrical, water, telephone, the ability to receive mail and to connect to the internet. How are we going to secure the doors of our different buildings? Because we developed this blueprint early on, we were able to build over and over again using the same skill set with the same staff. When something went wrong in any one of our building structures, we knew how to fix it because it was done in a consistent format. Now on top of this, we even thought about things like disasters in our community. And because of that, Middleware Fields actually uses a redundant power grid to supply power to all of our different buildings. So within the enterprise, an application server does a lot of things similar to the foundation that Jim described. When we think about running things like our human resources systems, web portals, running our financials, it all runs within an application server. The application server has a common set of services, just like Jim's buildings in his community did. We have things like security, a consistent way to handle transactions within our applications. We have the ability to connect to web services and other network services to make sure that our applications can communicate with the web and other systems. In addition to that, we might want to store information in databases as many applications do. So our application servers have the connectivity to do that inherently. Now, we also understand that a lot of applications are very critical, and so we want to make them available even in the event of disasters. So just as Jim had a redundant power grid, we have capabilities like clustering within application servers. This ensures that if some hardware fails or a part of an application fails, that services can continue to run for our business users. Now, along with that, the system inherently has diagnostic capabilities to help people track down and resolve issues. So whenever we're developing enterprise applications, this foundation allows us to focus on things that provide value to the business and differentiate our business instead of struggling with delivering these core services. What we'll see in subsequent episodes of what is middleware is how we almost have prefabricated homes that can go right onto the foundation that Jim described. This gives us the ability to extend those capabilities even further, and that wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for this foundation. This has been What is Middleware Application Server Capabilities.